here it is the two spray colors faded together looks really really good green into the orange over there by the U it's a solid orange and there you have this green faded into the orange over here on this side hope you guys can see that it's kind of tough to put it on the, the video but I really like the way it came out and if you look at the cup on this side it's solid green if you look at the cup on this side it's solid orange which is pretty cool and so it fades the the two emblems in together all right so now what I'm going to do is because this is obviously the opposite way the U um, on the actual emblem of University of Miami the green is on the right side and the orange part is on the left side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape all this off spray this green tape this off spray that orange and then the cup will be done and getting ready for epoxy all right guys we have the University of Miami cup so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tape off uh, the two sides like I said I'm going to use regular blue tape and I'm going to use some of this paper which is uh, painter's paper masking tape it blocks the paint out very well for the U around the curve, I was going to use the vinyl, the, uh, the, the positive side of the vinyl, the one that was left on there. Um, but instead of doing that, I'm just going to cut curves onto this and just do little pieces at a time and make sure that you cover this whole entire area. This orange I'm going to do first, so this whole entire area is going to get covered because you don't want any orange on the green anywhere over here or else you're going to mess the whole entire cup up. All right, so let's get into cutting and taping this off. taped off I taped it off in the middle of the vinyl so when I take the vinyl off the stainless steel will be underneath it and just this inside is going to be orange all right so we're gonna, it's going to need a few coats because it's on top of the green so we're going to do a first light coat and then do a second coat and then a third and final coat should be good and that should be orange just the way I want it all right so we have the inside open here so we can slide this right into the rotisserie and spray it All right, so the orange is about dried. I waited about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, being that it's Krylon, you could do this, I believe, I hope. <laughs> uh, if this was like Rust-Oleum, you would have to just wait a little bit longer. It would work the same, but you would just have to wait because it takes longer to dry. Krylon dries much faster. All right, so I started to peel this off just to see, and it looks pretty good, so let's take this off. So 
but we want to see the orange inside the vinyl there. So far it looks really, really good. Let's pull this off nice and easy. I use the scotch too, this blue the edge lock. It has a low tack, but seals very good if you have to seal the edges. That's why I use it. Okay, so this is the most important part, is this part right here. So let's see how this works. So far, so good. Now, if this works out good, which I think it did, I'm gonna wait a while. I'm gonna wait overnight until this dries. One of the most important things is being patient. There's still the vinyl here that we have to pull off. So I don't wanna pull that off yet. I wanna wait till this dries overnight. We have the bonding agent underneath that, so it shouldn't be a problem when I pull the vinyl off. So I'm going to wait overnight, and tomorrow we're going to do this part green. Same process. We did this one, and you can see that it came out pretty good. So far, there is no orange on the outside. It's all taped off. Now let's do the green. So here is the green on the right side. Everything's taped off. It should be dry. So I'm going to take it off now. dry overnight now I just got to take the vinyl off over here and get it ready for epoxy um, a lot of the times you don't have to use epoxy but like I've said before in all my videos I really like to use epoxy because <clears throat> it leaves such a great finish and it's probably the strongest finish that you could get you take the vinyl off you slide it down in the direction you're pulling it obviously and there you go there it is you can see I got a little bit of touch up right here to do right there you can see it came off I'm not really sure why but probably 90% of the time it comes out really clean like it did over there but no problem just take that spray paint spray it on a paper plate not a styrofoam plate because it'll eat right through it and just take a tiny little brush or even a toothpick that's how small that is and just touch that spot up before you epoxy it and then it's all done but very happy with it, it looks really really good there's the U and there's the canes all right take this off right here Let's see where my tape is at And there's the bottom. 
very nice sharp this blue tape works really really good this clean edge tape works fantastic